Marines and sailors from combat logistics regiments 35 and 37 participated in Fuji Warrior, a field training exercise from June 6th to June 20th at Camp Fuji. One of the objectives for the exercise was to get the service members out of the office and behind crew served machine guns. One, it refamiliarizes them with these weapons, and then two, it gives them the confidence to use these weapons, uh, whether it's a real actual contingency operation or if they're just doing it for uh, training. Uh, that's something they can also pass on to the, their Marines back in the unit, which haven't done it as well. They give that small unit leadership and enables them to continue on teaching the rest of the Marines. Once the range safety instructions were over, the Marines and sailors were issued ammunition, sighted in their weapons, and engaged their targets. We have two different regiments within the MLG that are combined to, uh, to make this Fuji Warrior up. We also have Marines from IPAC, Mickey Pack, Marines you really don't see out in the field doing much. So for them to get out behind their desks, build camaraderie, esprit de corps, it helps, it helps you know, build that brother-sister relationship, our brotherhood we have within the Marine Corps. Among the weapon systems used were the M249 Squad Automatic Weapon, M240 Bravo Medium Machine Gun, and the M2 Browning 50 caliber Machine Gun. For them to come out here and shoot, I think it allows the Marines to learn a little bit more about the Marine Corps. And believe it or not, you get Marines out of, out of the office and have them go do Marine things, do machine gun shoots. You'll see a lot of Marines re-enlisting. I mean, I think coming out here, the unit is going to get a better Marine once they leave Fuji Warrior. Once the brass settled and the barrels cooled off, the Marines and sailors completed yet another chapter of Fuji Warrior. Reporting from Combined Arms Training Center, Camp Fuji, Shizuoka, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal, West Lucko.